or a member. There's no rest of retirement for Alicia Apple. She went right back to work on behalf of children. She created the Pride Academy to do her part to help kids succeed in life. This woman is seriously the sweetest. Erica Fly introduces us to the recipient of this month's prestigious Jefferson Award. It's a place where learning is fun. We are a child care, but we're much more than a child care. A place Alicia Apple envisioned to help children thrive. I retired from Eli Lilly and Company, and this was supposed to have been a hobby for me 20 years ago. However, I fell in love with wanting to make a difference in the lives of the children. She tried to make it across there. She founded the Pride Academy to do just that. And help to impart wisdom, knowledge, and understanding into their lives so that they can grow up and become positive, productive members of society. The Pride Academy offers before and after school care, summer and winter camp, and it's unique. The child care facility offers STEM scouts, a focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. Alicia is sewing into her community. I always wanted to go back to where I grew up on the east side in the Brightwood area. So that's what I did 21 years ago. I went back in and just started with 26 children and it grew from there. Now there are 500 kids in four Pride Academy locations across Indianapolis. I'm now on my second generation of children which is a blessing. Miss Apple, for everything you do for our young people here at the Pride Academy, congratulations on receiving the Jefferson Award. <laughs> a full range of programs serve kids up to 12 years old. The children even run their own garden. Oh, that says Pride Academy. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. The name says it all. Children take pride in their accomplishments, and that makes Alicia proud. Many people say, well, why do you take on so much? I believe God has called me for a time such as now to be a blessing to the next generation. 